Yo, what is up? It's Eric Gotik here with a level 57 update. Yeah, I know, really big gains here from your boy. So, I mean, I'm pretty much the most casual person there is to this game, I feel like, at this point. Um, level 57, I've been playing since, what, launch, I want to say? Maybe a few days after, but I'm pretty sure it was launch. Who knows anymore? I, that's how bad my memory is. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to do an update because it's it, it's been kind of... Ace has been one of the games that I, I absolutely adore the game. I love it. Um, but since picking up, I just haven't had the time to invest as much as I want to in it. I mean, I still have invested more than, like, I guess a lot of other people have, but this is a level 57 update, which I know is still low level, and, uh, I definitely need to get on it, because I just stockpile all of my resources. Um, I wanted to make an update specifically because Hakrin just got changed, and so did Urzag. Now, Urzag is someone that early on I got to 50, and then I dropped. I didn't see a point in him, he... He wasn't fitting anywhere. Um, Hakrid, on the other hand, is my Queen of Tides 11 um, master. He's... Uh, <clears throat> I can probably replace him, but I'm not sure with who quite yet. Like, there's there's a few different options, right? Um, I mean, there's probably a few options. I just don't quite know them. Oh, great! God Fairy! Um, God... So, I want to say something quick about this guy, right? Um... <clears throat> Originally, my last video was when he came out, just about, like, a few days after, I believe. Um, because I didn't want to pull when he was raid up, which is, like, the 300%, I think. Because I didn't want him. Um, during my daily summons, though, the game said I do want him and gave him to me. I don't know much about him. I didn't like his aesthetic, and I kind of just stopped it there. Um, looking at him now, he's, like, okay. He's got, like, the Angry Birds, and, you know, he's got, like missile launcher tree around him for necklace and stuff so i mean like it's all right he's just all right <laughs> i guess right like he's okay but oh gosh see i should i even invest in him like aesthetically he's not the greatest right but can he push my team is he good at queen of tides what is he good at like his ability is uh defense down for two turns that's the weak version um 80 per well 100 damage enemy unhealable silence uh three turn cooldown the unhealable is for two turns could that potentially maybe help for um the uh th there's a healing mob right on the right that you go for for queen of tides uh deals 120 damage to an enemy randomly transfers one positive effects from the target to all team members and result positive effects on the target on a three turn cooldown really that's a three turn and that's a three turn okay yeah i just i don't fully i guess i don't fully grasp what his role is so if you do have him or if you do know please let me know if he's worth building up or maybe he's not great at queen of ties but he's somewhere else that i'm just not quite at or not quite in seeing the value in um but nonetheless like i need to figure out where to push at this point right i need to figure out what is the most important part going forward which uh the recent event which what was it um oh gosh it, we, we were able to farm out so much stuff and i wish i remembered that off the top of my head what the name was but nonetheless um i farmed out a lot of uh food because you're able to farm the um, the glyphs and whatnot, or the gems, the it, the upgrade material, right? Um, but then also just I'm a complete idiot. I'm talking and can't think. But uh, in general, we also on the last day just farmed all of the the XP. Like we've got a bunch of three star pumpkins. I was at none prior to the event, and now we're pretty we're pretty good. Like over 10 mil uh, jelly as well so everything's going good on that front the guild boss i mean i'm hitting like tw to 20 like around 20 i'm well i'm like 19.9 i need to finish the the you know the <clears throat> i'm like maybe i am at 20 now you know like 2021 20, whatever um you know it is what it is i'm it was it's a guild boss um maybe maybe god fairy can help me there i don't know um tell me what you think just from a quick look uh, what you would invest in um 
I mean, there's some good options, right? Like, there's a never-ending list of options that I could potentially go with. And going forward, like, if there is a uh, another event with a upgrade, like a summon rate up, when the next one comes, I'll probably pull. I, I probably will. Um, but at the moment, I feel like I have a lot of toys. I, I have a lot of toys to kind of keep me from pulling. Uh, arena, I went to gold. I've been kind of gold um, higher end now that I've been kind of focusing it a little bit more, I guess. Uh, I'm, I'm not really pushing it further because my gear... I didn't, you know... It's it's weird because I you know for someone who plays mobile games I always the RPG ones at least I always forget how important the gear is like I get myself to five stars right and I'm just like I don't really need six stars and I just don't focus the most important part which is getting the stuff to six stars because I just I sell for lesser saying hey that extra five percent is not going to make much of a difference but then i watch other people and it's just like yeah that that person's got six star gear and they're doing five times as much as you so you're clearly doing something wrong which clearly i am but at the same time i've enjoyed the journey all right that's something that's important about these games too like i i feel like it's a um pretty hot thing at least in the west that you need to be very goal oriented with games every game has a goal like everybody rushes to the end they get to maximum like level they get to the highest tier that they can for their skill and then they just keep on trying to say the only thing that matters is improvement there's nothing else in between it can't just be like a status like people aren't satisfied with just like the middle ground of enjoying the journey right and it's not like I'm sitting there and I'm just like going manual and enjoying every step of the way. No, that's not the case. But at the same time, I don't want to take away from the fact that I do find enjoyment in doing the dailies, just getting them out of the way, and then farming up like a character's glyphs and stuff like that. And just having the... I, I like collecting more than anything, right? But I like to save and hoard too. So it's kind of like I join a gotcha and then I just never do anything, right? So where exactly do you find yourself focusing most because maybe that's the gear i need to tackle next i mean i know endless trial right now i tried the 71 this is the 71 it's resetting in an hour and um yeah let's just say that around here is when i died off i should probably should have done manual this was on the auto but this is where i failed there's nobody left on my team um nobody geared nobody leveled up that can work so i only made this one maybe the dungeon for 70 is more important than just keeping it at 60 and going for other content. Maybe that is where I should be going. Or maybe I should be just pushing Queen of Tides all the way. Like, I mean, it's not the most unheard of thing. I guess, um, yeah, Void Tower just reset too. I got like, what, 20 floors and hard. I kind of forgot about it, which is an awful thing to do. Also, one thing to note is uh, I wanted to get, what's his, what's, what's my boy's name? I wanted to get Gangelo, Gangelo and uh, potentially Blackhorn, right? Those were my two favorites. So I did actually summon for once on this. Uh, I did a little bit. Where we didn't get lucky. We we didn't we didn't get very lucky at all. Um, but it is what it is, you know. I wasn't. You know, sometimes you win them, sometimes you get got. It is, you know, it's, it's just the way of the road. But going forward. I am now going to be waiting for the next summon event to summon. Uh, till then, I'm going to focus on probably just rounding out Queen of Tides 11 at least. I maybe push for more, see how it goes. I don't really know if there's if it's worth. That's cool. Uh, I don't really know if it's worth um, getting to the highest stages to farm nonstop uh, or not. A lot of these games tend to be. It is best to kind of settle. I don't mean to like say settle, but a lower stage is sometimes better for the type of gear that you're getting for drop rates. So maybe 11 is where I should be, but I'll tell you what, I am running... What is the team currently? I am running... This is my team. This is such a slow team. Maybe maybe it's just how Queen of Tides is, because I haven't really seen much gameplay of it. I don't look up much about this game. Um, I was told that this is a pretty decent, like, poison team and stuff like that, but oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. Like, you don't even understand. It, it, I'll be, I'll look over and it's like 10 minutes, I'm like, oh my god. 
So I'm also a little bit stumped there. Maybe I need something different. Maybe I need to really focus that because I do want the gear there. But then also like it might be instead of it might be better to settle on a different set from a different one, right? Like Queen of Tides is great, but Ash Magisteria, like coming from a game like Raid Shadow Legends, for example, speed gear is king. However, in this game, since people can't go twice, I'm very confused on how important speed is. I can understand that speed is probably important in turn order, and if you have slower speed, you probably need to be tankier and make up for it in like extra damage so that you can survive their first wave and then hit them harder. But then for longer fights like Queen of Tides, doesn't it even out? For example, like Roaring Tulpa, doesn't it even out? Like even if they get the first turn on you, isn't doing anything different? Like does speed even matter? And that's where I'm that's where I'm kind of hitting my head against a wall is I guess I don't know the importance of stats. And I I know I could just watch a YouTube video and see how to build somebody, but I'm not really finding that information of like, hey, you should be getting to this threshold, or this threshold is like the bare minimum, right? And like I know 100 percent crit rate is probably pretty important, right? Um but don't look at my hydro seed. That does that doesn't count, right? <clears throat> Don't look at my air. Now listen, my Sierra, she could be a little bit better, but we're close, okay? Uh, okay, apparently nobody has the has the right crit rate. Um, that was originally I was hoping I'd just click and it would be there. But I mean, I'm pretty up there. Hey, Zatluck, 70%. He's got his passive 30%. Look, big brain. I'm thinking. Big, big smart brain here. But yeah, I... I don't know. I've changed their gear around a lot, honestly, and to see what works best, what, you know, works less or whatever. But same thing with uh, Focus, for example. Like, Focus, chance to apply effect on others, 49% on this guy. Does the Focus effect um, apply from his passive, which is when he gets hit, if it gives them poison? Do I really need that when it says that it... Um, like, what is the threshold? Like, I don't know, is this information given or known by people or where people in general are keeping themselves at? Is 100% focus the most important thing? That's right. I put a bunch of focus into her to get her to 100% because I was saying maybe the biggest thing is I should drop some of her defenses for focus, but then her defenses are still probably pretty good. I, th I feel like she's an okay spot, honestly. Like, I don't have any issues with my Santas. Um, Azarina, I haven't messed with, I haven't really messed with a lot of them, but yeah, it, the hardest thing I feel like right now, and this is the hardest wall I've gone to, is I don't know where to really focus my energy, where to focus my, what they consider bread, okay, where to, where to, I just don't, I just don't, I, I can burn through my gems, I've got 14k, probably almost close to 15k at this point, uh, we use a lot of gold with upgrading gear during the last event because I just wanted to get out of the way. We are always maxing out events for the most part. I think there's only been one or two I've even skipped since launch. Like, we've got the stuff. I just don't know where to focus it, I guess. And that's a really newbie rookie mistake at this point I shouldn't be at. But because I haven't been able to fully deep delve into this game to a degree that I've wanted to, I'm now doing that, right? Uh, so if you can... I'd love the help, but otherwise, this is level 57. This is where I'm at currently, and my next goal is um, whatever I figure it out to be and I make a video about, because I'm I'm now in a position where I can probably make videos when before I had to do kind of the scraping bare minimum. Now we're there, and I can actually update a little bit more. I can push my account past, like, just a few levels per month or whatever at this point, it feels like. But yeah, if you made it this far in the video, I hope you have a wonderful day. I absolutely love you and adore you. Someone loves you. you know, maybe hit the like button or subscribe too, just so you know your boy has a little bit of love. <laughs> Anyways, good luck. Uh, stay safe and, you know, a good day. Take care, guys.